first at nine, a year into the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and more help is on the way. We're going to tell you about commemorations that are happening not only around the world, but locally here in Connecticut this morning. And a new social media app prompting warnings from police. We're going to tell you about Tia and why local parents are sounding the alarm. And we've been flipping back and forth from spring like to winter temps. So we are learning all about the ideal time to start setting up your garden this year. And rev up those engines. There are some big trucks at the XL Center. Marcy Jones takes us through the setup of Monster Jam. That's ahead on Great Day at 9A. Guys, we made it to Friday. What a what a week! Welcome. You know, the funny thing is, I I forgot I worked Sunday. Oh, so that's right. Is, so that's why it felt extra long for you. The, this is probably why I thought Thursday was Monday. Yeah. And today I thought it was Thursday. That makes I, sense. I, I don't know what's going on, but it's the end of the week, right? It is the end of the week. It's the end of the week as, as we, we know, know it. it. And it's a great day at 9 a. We're so happy to have you here. I'm Nicole Nalepa. I'm Scott Andy here. Nice to see all of you. We hope you're having a great day. Yeah, it's a great day at 9 a. The musical, that's another thing that's coming it, later on. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Very good. But yeah, happy Friday, happy everyone. Happy Friday, everybody. And you have those early morning weather alerts. Yeah, we're going to talk about wind and a wintry storm for next week. It's just a big mess. Lots to talk about in the early morning forecast center, so we'll get to that in just a second. All right, let's get you up to speed on today's top stories, though. Police across the country, as well as right here in Connecticut, are warning about a new social media app called Tia. So while the app claims it's a way for people to connect, many are worrying that criminals are using it to prey on our children. Yeah, Tia works like this. People from all over are able to talk in chat rooms, share their screens, not good, and play truth or dare. Oh, I know. Play truth or dare. That's not good either. Not good either. Doesn't but, sound good. But parents in East Hartford are sounding the alarm saying that despite the designed age restrictions, there's reports of users soliciting inappropriate <sighs> photos from children. So the age requirement is 17 and up. Ugh. But you know, so many cybersecurity experts are saying that it can be hard to obviously monitor your children's screen time, but it is so important that they stay on top of it as much as they can and more importantly that they have conversations with their kids about, you know, the warning signs to look out for. If yeah. you are being, you know, targeted by any uh, I know it's just it's so disturbing it's and it's just a hard thing to tackle and hard to wrap your your Happy head around, around right exactly. especially as a parent you right. know but it's the day and age we live in and uh, so please make sure to have those conversations with your kids regardless of age even if they are teenagers exactly too. and a day of commemorations reflections and defiance in Ukraine leaders there are stopping to mark one year since Russia invaded their nation Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky pushed for victory this morning. In his televised address, President Zelensky promised to liberate the people living in Russian-occupied territories, saying in part, quote, we have not abandoned you. One way or another, we will liberate our land. Support for the Ukraine is rising up against across the uh, world right now. The U.S. is promising a fresh $2 billion aid package. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin says America will stand by Ukraine for quote, as long as it takes, end and, quote. And there are several events that are happening locally here in Connecticut to mark one year since the Russian invasion of Ukraine began. There will be a vigil for Ukraine in New Haven at Yale starting at 3. And the nonprofit organization Hearts for Ukraine will be holding a community gathering today. One starts in Hartford at 4.30, and another one is being held in New Britain at 6 tonight. Well, and there's also a few other things I know we were mentioning this morning. Yeah, so sure. head to the Channel 3 app to find the full list. Okay, let's check out to see how the weather is going to be for all of these events. You better dress in your winter woolies. Got a couple of snowflakes out there for you. Maybe even a couple of raindrops over Torrington. Not a big deal. They're sweeping in from uh, New York State. But uh, again, it's more picturesque than anything else. Let's take a look at our early morning future cast. Tomorrow's weather today. Increasing amounts of sunshine. Sunshine won't go away today. I don't feel much like dancing. I kind of do want to dance because it's Friday. I do too. You know? Uh, by 7 o'clock tonight, the winds are whipping. The temperature is dropping. And it's going to be a very, very chilly overnight. So here's the rest of the day. You'll notice that symbol at, uh, under the th on top of the 37. That's the wind symbol. 33. You'll notice, Nicole, the temperatures, instead of going up, 
They're going down. <laughs> 33, we're only going to be in the mid-30s, and then upper 20s by the evening commute, but the wind will make a feel later tonight like it's in the single digits, even below zero in parts of the state. So please okay. dress accordingly. Plan accordingly. Third shifters and people working outside. Uh, God bless. You are going to be dealing with some pretty harsh conditions today and tonight and tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow only in the mid-20s, and I'll be back with your three-day forecast coming up in less than 10. Okay, I feel like I ask you every day. So this is more typical for February? This is way below normal. Way below yeah, normal. Yeah, 41 is the normal high, so tomorrow daytime oh, okay. highs only in the low to mid-20s. So we are just a roller coaster. <laughs> and speaking of which, here's something that you don't see every day. Snow right by the Hollywood sign. Yeah, this is incredible. In I just LA. looked this up. Isn't this wild? It's totally wild. So the mountains of Los Angeles are getting their first blizzard warning since 1989. And it's in effect from this morning to tomorrow afternoon. Unbelievable. Experts forecast up to eight feet of snow at the highest. <laughs> that's oh at the gosh. highest elevations, right. like in the mountains, and 6 to 12 inches in lower areas. So that's pretty cool, though. They don't really get a lot of snow in Los Angeles. I mean, do they, I mean, even like an inch or two, you, yeah, I feel the, like you don't the, hear about the, it. It would snarl up the whole community. Yeah. I got to call Anthony, find out what's oh, going yeah, on. Oh, yeah, you there. should. I got a friend in California, see what's going on. Absolutely. Maybe he can report back and call in. I'd maybe do a live report for us. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. And maybe they could send us there to do it, too. And let's send us some of their snow <laughs> since we don't have any. <laughs> exactly. All right, now for an important consumer yeah. alert. Oh, boy, I have one of these. You do? My mom sent me the alert this morning and the, in the details. Did she yeah. send, who bought it? Did you buy she it? Did. She, she bought, bought it, it for us. You. She's yep. trying to burn your house down. <laughs> I know. Listen to this. You know those air fryers? Well, well, well two million Kasori air fryers are being recalled because they could catch fire, as Scott was just alluding to. Yeah, the company says there have been 200 reports of the product overheating, melting, and even catching fire. Yeah, the air fryers were sold at Amazon, Best Buy, Home Depot, and Target from June 2018 through December, so you can return them for a full refund. In fact, Kasori, if you just go to their website, they have all the details on how you can yeah. follow the step-by-step -step I'm sure to get they want to get those products back. Yeah, and I mean, millions have been sold, so. It's incredible. Yeah, hopefully your house I, is See, another, another thing I don't need on my counter was an air fryer. I'm glad I didn't buy one. <laughs> see, I actually love my air fryer. Do you love your air fryer? Oh my gosh, we use it more than the oven. Oh my god. Because it's so quick. You're teach we have me. no time You'll have to kids. teach me how to use it. Oh, I will. Maybe I'll even cook for you sometime. I would love that. <laughs> That's saying a lot. That is saying that a is lot. That is love. <laughs> All right, some more consumer news to pass along to you. All right, listen to this. A new survey shows that out of over 1,200 Americans, nearly two-thirds have at least one unspent gift card. Do you have a, I know I have unspent yeah, gift cards. Yeah, I know I do, too. I save them for something I really yeah, need, and then you, don't and use then you them. forget. At least half admitted to losing mm -hmm. a gift card before using it. Experts say there could be as much as $21 oh. billion dollars worth of unused credit cards across the country. And that's, they, a, that's a lot of cash. That's awful. And they don't expire until at least five years from the activation date, according to federal law. So you better start looking for them. In fact, I had a $400 gift card Stop from um, our cable and cell phone carrier. Yep. If we switched over, yep. I, I, it expired. I, yeah. Oh, okay, that's I not still, good. I, I still am carrying it around in my wallet, and I don't even know no, why. No, because uh, you think you're going to call them and try and negotiate <laughs> something and forget it. All right, we are sending it to Marcy. Take a look. Hi, guys. Yes, that's exactly right. Happy Friday. We are previewing Monster Jam. Now, I was looking for the really big trucks, but I can't find any. So hopefully by the time this break is over, we can get some big trucks for you, and everyone's going to have a great day. We'll see you guys soon.